If your company has a WordPress website and you want to use HubSpot CRM to manage, track, and segment your leads and business contacts, you must connect your website to your HubSpot account. You could also want to leverage the power of WordPress form plugins to build complex and advanced forms, such as quiz forms, multi-step forms, payment forms, order forms, registration forms, and many more. So basically what we want to do is send form submissions data to HubSpot and save form entries as HubSpot contacts. To connect WordPress forms to HubSpot CRM, you can make use of Tablesome WordPress plugin which is a WordPress HubSpot add-on that helps to connect WordPress form plugins to your HubSpot account. Tablesome allows you to send WordPress form submissions directly to your HubSpot contacts and contact lists. Tablesome also works with many popular WordPress form plugins such as Gravity Forms, Elementor Forms, WP Forms, Contact Form 7, Fluent Forms, Forminator, and some more. Each one of these form plugins comes with various advantages and limitations. Your WordPress site could have several different forms created with multiple form plugins. You might use separate HubSpot integration add-ons for individual form plugins, this could cost you a lot of money and you need to spend much time to configure and set up the HubSpot integration in each of these form plugins. Since Tablesome is an all-in-one solution that allows you to integrate multiple form plugins with HubSpot CRM, it saves you a lot of time and money. So let's see how you can use Tablesome to connect WordPress forms to HubSpot CRM and save the contacts in HubSpot. In this WordPress site, we have set up a demo form with the Gravity Forms plugin. Let's connect this form to HubSpot using Tablesome and see if the contact is being saved to HubSpot CRM. Let's go to the site's dashboard. We have already installed the Tablesome plugin on this site. You can get the plugin from the link in the video description. In the menu, you can find Tablesome and you have to go to Tablesome settings. In the settings page, you can find the HubSpot integration tab. Here you can connect your WordPress site to your HubSpot account. Log into your HubSpot and choose the HubSpot account that you want to connect to. Our site is now connected, let's save the Tablesome settings. Now we have to create a Tablesome workflow to connect the Gravity Forms form to HubSpot. To do this, go to Add New Table. In this new table page, give this workflow a suitable title. Then go to the sidebar, where you can find triggers to set up workflows. You can find triggers for all the supported WordPress form plugins namely Contact Form 7, Elementor, WP Forms, Gravity Forms, Fluent Forms, and Forminator. If you are using another form plugin, you can request the team to extend Tablesome, to support the form plugin that you use. Then you can choose the form that you want to connect to HubSpot. Now you can see that an action section is opened. Tablesome provides multiple actions that you can do when a form is submitted. HubSpot integration comes with two actions, namely add contact and add contact to static list. We will see add contact to static list, later. Now we will use the add contact action. Now we have to map the form fields to HubSpot's contact properties. You can select what form fields data that you want to send to HubSpot and map only those fields here. In the property field, you can find many of the HubSpot's contact properties, and other related properties that you can map to your forms. When a contact is added, other data also will be added to the contact based on the field mapping.
We could also set up custom values for some HubSpot contact properties for this form. What this means is that when a contact is being added the value that you set here will be automatically set for all contacts that are sent from this form. For example, we will map the lead status property for which we can set value from any of the values provided by HubSpot. We will set the value as new. So every contact being added will have the lead status as new in HubSpot. We could send additional data related to the form submission such as page source URL, IP address, etc. We could also set up a tablesome, add row action for this form to save the form entries to this tablesome table. Now that we have created a workflow to connect the Gravity Forms form in HubSpot, we can save this workflow and send a test form submission and see if the contact is being added to HubSpot. Let's go to the HubSpot account, to the contacts page. When a form entry is submitted a new contact will be created here. Let's send a sample form submission from our WordPress site. Let's refresh the contact page and see if the contact has come. It's successful. The form submission is added to HubSpot contacts. All the contact properties that we have mapped are also sent properly. The lead status is also set to new. Next, we will see how to add contacts to a HubSpot contact list. We have created a list in our account. We will set up a workflow to add a contact to this list. To do this we will use a WordPress form created using another form plugin that is Elementor. We will integrate this Elementor form to HubSpot and add contacts to our HubSpot contacts list. If we refresh this page we can see that the form entry is saved to the table. We will use the Elementor form trigger. Then select the form that we want. 
Now we will select the HubSpot Add Contact to Static List action. It shows us the list of HubSpot contacts lists we have on our account and we have to select the list we want. Then we can map the Elementor form fields to HubSpot contact properties. Now we will set up the lead status to be open. This will be added to all the contacts added from this form. We will save this workflow and send a test form. When we refresh this contact list, we will see that the form submission that we have submitted will be saved as a new contact. The contact is added and the lead status is set to open. You can do the same for any of the supported WordPress form plugins. You could also make use of other Tablesome integrations such as MailChimp, Notion, Google Sheets, Slack, and more. You can also display the form entries on WordPress pages and also also users to edit the entries on the front end. So give Tablesome a try. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos.